Hey guys, John here with Osage County Guns. Today I've got one of Sig Sauer's new suppressors. This just came in. They just started shipping from the factory. And this is their 762 Titanium Quick Detach model. That's part number SRD762TI-QD. Uh, we're just going to do a quick unboxing video, show you the suppressor, what comes with the suppressor, uh, how it's packaged, and then cover a few of the specifications. Uh, we've got a lot of information on our website and blog, so we won't spend a lot of time rehashing it. Um, we will, in the future, have a video of us actually doing a demonstration with the suppressor. Unfortunately, we've been getting, we've been getting a lot of rain here in Missouri, and as a result, our range is just soaked. Uh, we don't have a paved range area. It's just grass, and we've got water everywhere. So for now, uh, we're just going to do the unboxing video, and then when time allows, we'll get it out and put it on one of our rifles, and then really show it to you in action. So here we've got the suppressor and the brake. I just lift that out and get the brake out. And then underneath we've got an insert. And here we've got the instruction manual. It actually gave us, for some reason, two identical inserts. So you've got the instruction manual the inserts, we've got a crush washer. And uh, a few things to note about the suppressor. Um, first of all, SIG's using a, uh, a single a single outer tube. Uh, it's I think they describe it as tubeless. And so what they've done is, it's a method of uh, welding the baffles to the outer, uh, outer shell or tube of the suppressor, um, which allows them to reduce weight. And this suppressor comes in, I believe, right at 15.8 ounces, uh, which is a very nice weight considering that it's a 300 diameter can. Um, a few things to know about our muzzle brake. Uh, and, and first off, the thread pitch on this is 5 8 by 24, and that is the thread pitch they provide for their 300 diameter cans. The uh, 5.56 adapter is half by 28, and they do make other adapters as well for right hand and left hand twist. Uh, we've got all those part numbers for the adapters on our blog, so I won't go into too much detail on those right now. Um, the muzzle device itself is a two-piece um, device with the base and then the brake in this case. Uh, SIG's got five or six different attachments that, that'll be available when they're all you know, actually out and uh, you know, in production. And they'll let you change out between this kind of a muzzle brake uh, to uh, other kinds. And in this, uh, we can see their CQB flash hider. Uh, the micro brake is what's provided. Um, and we do have the crush washer here, which is provided. Um, John Hollister from SIG has a, a number of videos online, including at SIGSilencers.com. And he does a really good job of describing uh, the design with SIG's taper lock system and uh, how that locks uh, in terms of the suppressor on the brake, as well as the brake to uh, the barrel. So definitely check that out. Um, one thing to note, uh, they list what's provided, uh, muzzle brake, base, uh, crush washer, the muzzle brake, and then rock set. Uh, there's actually no rock set here. So I'm not sure if that was an omission or if, uh, you know, this, this single particular suppressor was shipped without the rock set. Uh, we'll follow up with SIG and make sure they know that uh, this particular one didn't have any rock set. And then we'll check the rest of our inventory to see if uh, it was provided there or if it was just overlooked with this whole shipment. Um, the uh, specs on the suppressor, just to give you a little bit more information. Um, like I said, it weighs in at 15.8 ounces. The uh, uh, non-QD version is actually, I think, a little bit heavier, and I'll verify that for you here. But... Um, this particular one weighs in, uh, just to confirm, that is 15.8 ounces, and uh, overall uh, length is 8.3 inches with a diameter of 1.75 inches. This suppressor is rated at 137 decibels, and uh, it is grade 5 titanium uh, per SIG's website. Uh, the official designation of this is 7.62 NATO. Uh, it is, <clears throat> it is uh, compatible with 204 Ruger, 223 or 556. 
545 by 39, 762 by 39, uh, 762 by 35, which is 300 blackout, 6.5 Grendel, 6.5 Creekmore, 6.8 SPC, and 260 Remington. Uh, those are the calibers that the SIG is listed, but they're saying it is available or uh, compatible with other cartridges as well. Comparing this uh, quick detach model to their direct thread model, uh, which is the part number SRD762TI, uh, the direct thread model is rated at 135 decibels, so it is two decibels quieter, and it does have the same uh, thread pitch, which is 5 8 by 24. The direct thread model weighs in at 17.6 ounces, so it actually is a little bit heavier, but I don't think that the weight is taking into account the weight of the brake, which is going to be probably around 2 ounces. Um, so all of a sudden, then they'll end up being uh, pretty close in overall uh, weights. The uh, direct thread model retails for $7.95, where the QD model is retailing for just $100 more at $8.95. That really gives you a lot of value, especially when you look at other brands like Advanced Armament, um, who uh, has you know comparable titanium suppressors, uh, but uh, up till now, for the most part, they have not included the, uh, their uh, QD mount for the, the can itself. And, um, you know, SIG is really pricing these at a price point that makes them much more affordable than a lot of other suppressors on the market. If you're buying the 762 suppressor and you're going to use it on a 556 rifle, you will need their half by 28 adapter. And I checked with SIG just this week. That adapter is not yet shipping. However, they do have them uh, inbound. And uh, I think that they're probably uh, near ready to be packaged and then shipped back out. Um, the adapters are, are priced at $69 MSRP. Uh, so that makes them a very competitively priced adapter as well. Just to give you a quick comparison, if you were comparing this to their 556 uh, titanium quick detach can, <clears throat> you're looking at a difference of three decibels. The 556 can is rated at 134 decibels. And then the uh, weight of the 556 can is 11.8 ounces. Um, the only other thing to take into consideration is that the uh, decibel rating is obviously uh, comparing the 556 to the 762. And uh, <clears throat> so that with the bigger bore, uh, you won't have quite the same sound suppression um, as you would with the 556 can. So I'm sure that uh, once the adapter is out, um, we'll be able to get some more information on uh, just uh, how much of a difference there is when we're talking 7.62 on 5.56 versus 5.56. The last thing to note when we're talking about the 5.56 can is that the MSRP difference between the 7.62 and the 5.56 is only $50. The 5.56 can has an MSRP of uh, $845, and uh, again, this is, uh, has an MSRP of uh, $895. Thanks for checking out our unboxing video, guys. Uh, I hope it's been helpful for you to see the suppressor, what's coming in the package, and uh, just what to expect when you get yours. Obviously, uh, if you're just seeing this video now, uh, you're waiting probably for a Form 3 or a Form 4 transfer, so you've got a little time before you can get your hands on your suppressor and shoot it. Um, we're definitely excited about it. Can't wait to get it out of our range once it dries out a little bit more. Um, if you have questions, leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. If we can answer your question, we'll check with SIG and get their answers for you and uh, definitely get you the information you need. You can check out our blog at osagecountyguns.com forward slash blog. We've got pretty extensive details about the suppressor line as well as the full line of accessories, the muzzle devices, all the part numbers for those so you can check them out if you need to order some. Uh, you'll be able to check those. Uh, in our store, we do have the suppressor available for sale and uh, we will be adding all the accessories like the brakes and then the, uh, the mounts uh, for the different thread pitches, the different calibers, and we'll have those available as well. So definitely check those out. Um, hope you've enjoyed the video, and have a great day.